Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. I hope everybody had a wonderful Christmas. I certainly did. I've got my new hat on, Ban Idiots Not Guns, courtesy of my mother-in-law. And my daughter bought me this shirt, very patriotic, but it says, Unmasked, Unmuzzled, Unvaxxed, and Unafraid. That is really controversial. You know, I, I cannot believe that some people out there feel that they have authorization over the unvaxxed health care. Whether you got the vax or did not get the vax, that's not my business. And if you did, I would stand by your decision to do that. 100%. But nobody's standing by the other way. You know, nobody, nobody cares. They say, you know, this is what you need to do. And what I found is that it's really not that effective, but that's just my personal opinion. We're seeing all this scorning going on from the media, the politicians telling us what we have to do. Well, I never authorized anybody to do that, especially Biden. I didn't authorize, but I wouldn't authorize that guy to choose what I eat for lunch, let alone my medical decisions. And so this is the first time ever I got insurance for my flight to Vegas for SHOT Show. Because if they come up with a VAX mandate, I'm out. I'm, I'm not doing it. And so that's my personal choice. It's a medical decision. The only person that needs to be uh, aware of this is myself. Well, now I'm making it very public. And my family. Outside of that, you know, med medical decisions have always been considered a privacy issue. And that has completely gone away with the whole vaccine thing, and I think it's really unnecessary, and it's getting to a point where it's pretty maddening. So I really like the part that says unafraid, because people have their decisions to make, and I will stand by your decisions. I ask stand by other people's decisions as well. The next subject that I want to talk about is the Limpress test. The last couple reviews I've had, oh, come on, dude, where's the Limpress test? And I hear that when I, like, I forget about it. I get all intense into doing a gun review. I want to make sure I have everything uh, that is correct with my talking points. And I forget to do the Lipris test. And you guys sure let me know. Now, let me give a little history. A couple years ago, the Lipris test happened by accident. I meant to do a Lipris test, but I made a goofy face by accident and people thought that was funny so that evolved to me making these grunts and groans and burps and farts and everything else and people say i came here for the limp wrist test and i was disappointed so i'm going to bring back the limp wrist test i hope you find it educational and i've been pretty amazed lately especially how many handguns have not passed the limp wrist test people said it seems like they all pass well they don't the canic tp9 SF Elite didn't, the MP Shield Plus didn't, the VP9, the Masada, and some others that I'm not thinking of right now, but it's kind of hit or miss. And I think some of it has to do with whether it's a brand new handgun or not. But whatever the case, it I, I think it's educational. And, and I've got somebody who's willing to make some shirts for me. I've had so many requests for shirts and a compilation of the Limpress test. I, I actually tried to let it die out. I really did. But you guys wouldn't let me. You, you just kept pounding away. Where's the Limpress test, man? And I was like, oh, man, I forgot. So I'm going to try to add those in with future reviews. Speaking of future reviews, this is the main part I wanted to get to. I am going to begin a, a short series, about a week long, of budget guns just budget guns and i've got a bunch of them and a lot of people love budget guns it's like the the budget gun family if you will or the crowd or the followers they are out there they love their budget guns they often say i can get two of my budget guns for one of your 600 hundred dollar guns and they are right that is true so I, I i'm not going to be just focused only on that but i'm going to do this and i'm going to attempt to put up two videos a day on just budget guns. I've got a whole bunch and it will it will basically end when I'm out of budget guns, when I don't have any more to review. They're going to be short, some will be at the range, some will be on the table, but I plan to do this and I hope you guys enjoy that. I've never done anything like this before 
you know, I've, I've always done budget guns, but I'd never put up two a day, one in the afternoon, one in the evening. And specifically on the budget priced handgun. So we're going to get that going. And that's my announcement. That's all I really had to say. I'm still loving this. I'm still enjoying it. Uh, it's a ton of work, but you know what? Once I get the feedback from you guys, it's all worth it. So that's what I've got going on. I hope you guys take part. And I certainly am unafraid with those other things I discussed. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.